Welcome to our next installment in our MC Electrical how-to videos. Today we're looking at how to calculate your solar savings using an inverter that does not have an online monitoring tool. In this example, we're using an ABB inverter, but for any other inverters, see our full blog for instructions. The first step is to look at your bill. This helps you gather the numbers you need to help you calculate your solar savings. So you can see our bill here comes to $349. Of this amount, it includes 836 kilowatts used from the grid, and it also includes a reading of 688 kilowatts back to your energy provider. The next step is to generate our solar production reading from our inverter. This reading will tell you how much energy your solar system is producing. So we navigate through our menu until we see the user period option. This allows us to set a date range to match our energy bill. So for this bill, it's 28th of November 2016 through to the 28th of February 2017. You can adjust the dates by selecting the up and down arrows. Now you can see that the production over this period is 1,724.8 kilowatt hours. So here's where we work backwards to calculate how much energy we have used directly from our solar. We now know how much we have produced for this period. We also know that we fed back 688 kilowatt hours to the grid, which reflects as a credit on our bill. If you subtract this 688 off our 1724.8 production, you are left with 1036.8 kilowatt hours. This is the amount you have consumed directly from your solar. So you can calculate your dollar savings by multiplying this amount by your energy charge per kilowatt. For this bill, it's 23.26 cents. This equals a savings of $241.15. Now add your $41.28 from your feeding credits and you have $282.43 generated in savings directly from your solar. If your inverter doesn't allow you to set this custom date range, we show you more in our blog in the link below on how you can estimate your solar production and consumption. Thanks for watching. For more solar videos, subscribe down here. Or to read my blog, click this link.